copper. I got my recurve, and there's four or five coppers about 80 yards from us strutting up on the limbs. They're cobbling good, getting ready for them to come down. I got two more defense that hurt.
Let's stop the fog. Instant replay from last year. Well, folks, don't get any better than this. Don't get any better than this. Oh, mercy. Big old fan on that booger. Big old fan. Nice spurs. Not real nice spurs. Got a good beard on him. Really good beard on him. Look at that. Tickle pink with that. Tickle pink. Awesome. That's a nice man, eh? Thank you, Lord. Well, we've done it again. Dad and I out here tag teaming up three years now in a row in the same spot. We've actually killed turkeys. Dad killed one with a bow two years ago, and I killed two in a row with a shotgun. And uh, it don't get any better than this, folks. The uh, the uh, setup, the the beautiful morning, get it in here, and the turkeys are already in the roost on you, uh, in full strut on the limb. Uh, everything just played out perfect for us. So we are truly blessed to be able to do this, and uh, couldn't be more happy. Y'all watch the Stevens Family Outdoors, folks. Stay tuned, and we'll bring you more action live in just a little bit.
Give me some. Give me some. <laughs> big old long beard, bro. That is a big old long beard. <laughs> that is a giant bird, dude. There you go to the left lane, boy. Got him, boy. What do you say, Mr. Stevens? <laughs> oh, man. Tomorrow I got to go in for a stress test. Uh, we were talking about sneaking in on your... We didn't sit down for two minutes. And I saw the hedge in the fan. Well, we just happened to come up to the top of the hill. And I had my bow. And <laughs> we heard one gobble way out here. And then, right down here at the bottom, we heard one gobble. And, uh... We sat back right there <laughs> on them, right back in the brush. And they come up. They didn't know we were there. They were looking uh, for us. It's all the hen. Oh, yeah. They were looking for they us. We saw the hen decoy. But anyway, uh, imagine that was a good 40 yards. You shot that big boy, the other one took off. I saw him flying. Oh, yeah. yeah That's cool. Check him out there. Let's see what he looks like. Look at his head. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Paintbrush. Oh, yeah. Good bird, dude. Good bird. Good paintbrush. <laughs> Look at his fur. See you folks in a minute. Oh yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, this this old boy come in quick, strutting, and looked at the tip of his wings. He was a strutting machine. Look at it, they wore off. This side over here. They're wore down. And I will say one thing, I don't think I've ever been on a hunt this quick. We literally just sat down. He's probably a 10 inch beard, maybe. Yeah, I'd say 10. Mature gobbler, for sure. One way you can tell by that is their fan. On a mature bird, the feathers will be equal length all the way around. Looks like he's been fighting. Yep, and on a Jake, just about four of these in the middle will be tall, and the other ones will be shorter down around there. He's got a tail feather missing where he's fighting. Yeah. Two of them big boys came in, man. Yeah. Both of them swinging beards on them. We are very tickled. Thank you, good yards. Lord. Yep. Tell you Lordy. something. That gun right there put a hurting on him. Old Mossberg, 835. God is good. Let's keep it rolling. Well, here we just walked up in the woods. Um... We got to the top of the hill and we stopped and all of a sudden there turkey gobbled off to our right. So we started walking up, got to the almost to the top up here and uh, heard another one gobble close. He was just right down in the bottom right there. So we hurried up. I set the decoy out and um, we sat back in the, tucked herself back in the brush and uh, more than two minutes. Out come two of them. Uh, two long beards. So this was the one that was strutting. So I figured I'd go ahead and take him if he stepped out. And he stepped out. And the old moss bird barked 40 yards. And down he went. Yeah, we had the bow too, but it was just a little too far for the bow. So Yeah. Sometimes you got to act quick and set up. Good bird there, Dad. Good bird. 
And what's he got? Nine, ten inch beard? Probably, I'd say probably nine or ten. Uh, I'd take them all day long. Spurs are about an inch, maybe. Yep. I don't know what you think. Oh, yeah. About the same one like I killed. Hold it there for me. Yeah, they're about three quarters to an inch, yep. That's a two and a half, three year old bird. Yeah, that's a. Full fan on him. Oh, yeah. That's a mature gob. That's what we're after. Yes, sir. One gobble is all that all we heard. One gobble and it come in silent. Oh man! The rest of the way. We did hear other turkeys further out, so we know we got another day or so to, with me being off to come in here. So you see, I wasn't serious about turkey hunt or about bow hunting turkeys. Still got my arm guard on, but uh, I knew if we came up here, we don't have a blind set up. But I tell you what, as I look around, there's plenty of places to tuck in there. It just happened so quick. Yeah, it happened too quick. So. Alrighty, you're watching Stevens Family Outdoor. This is JW. Luke on the camera. I appreciate it. Luke got one this morning, uh, about an hour, hour and a half ago. Same size down at the other farm. So we're doubling out this morning. Alright, you're watching Stevens Family Outdoor. Y'all have a great day. Cause I am. All right, folks, well, second day of West Virginia turkey season, and uh, Dad and myself uh, doubled up this morning. I killed mine at, uh, out of the blind at our, the first farm, and uh, Dad killed his probably about maybe two hours later on our second farm. Um, both of them happened really quick, and we got, as you can see, there's two birds to, to get rid of that theory of people thinking maybe we... Took a picture with the same turkey, which we wouldn't do, but uh, two nice birds here, both both three-year-old turkeys, and uh, what a morning. What do you think, Dad? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm tickled pink uh, with this here. Uh, I didn't get to take this with my recurve. I had to use a shotgun because the farm that we were sitting up on, we don't have a blind set up there yet, and um, it was wide open in the woods, so we walked up. And just got to the top of the ridge and heard one gobble way out the ridge and was getting ready to go on over and slip out to the right to where he was. And lo and behold, over the break from us, couldn't have been more than 100 yards, yeah. uh, another one gobbled. And uh, we just about had to change some things. <laughs> yeah. That's... But anyway... Uh, we hurried up, I put the decoy on the ground and we run back and set up in the sticker bushes and they kept grabbing my clothes. And that's we, weren't, just, we weren't there two minutes. Let's just say if it would, yeah. if we if we wouldn't have heard him gobble, we would have spooked him because we were getting ready to, like he said, to head to the right out the, out the field to the right there, to out the woods to the right to get to that turkey. And he just, the Lord said, gobble turkey, and he gobbled. And so he wanted Dad to kill one. Yeah. Folks, we're blessed to be able to do this, so you all stay tuned. There are many, many more hunts to come this year. We've had a blast. Um, we hope you enjoy this hunt. Uh, God bless you all. You're watching Stevens Family Outdoors. <laughs>